of hovercraft work, do you know? Well, look, just from the top of my memory data, I don't really know. But I can search the World Wide Web. Even better, we should go check out how they work out in the field. Let's do that. Good job, Iris. She's always thinking, isn't she? OK, uh -huh. check it out. I know. Top speeds of 80 kilometres an hour. Single engines, twin engines, steering handlebars, horsepower, buttons for things. We're hoping to learn more about these hovercrafts as we go out for a test drive. All right, Claire Bear, let's do this. First up, the Expo 88 This is a single-engine hovercraft which was used for joy rides during Expo 88. Which means all up, these seats have seen more than 40,000 passengers. I believe it, very cushy. Let's go. Expo Aviator has a single engine that controls both the lift and the thrust. It uses a finger skirt underneath with different segments that adapt to the shape of the water. Peter, that was so awesome. Thank you so much. Seriously, I didn't expect it to be so smooth. So smooth. I'm ready for the next one. Ready for Hovercraft 2. Next one up, the Renegade. Aye, aye, Captain Peter, we're ready to go. The Renegade is the same model as the Expo Aviator, but it's only two years old. It has a four-stroke engine that makes it much quieter. And finally, the, the TP6. 120 horsepower, fits up to five people and used for rescues and transport. All right, Claire Bear, third and final. Let's do it! The TV6 has a lot more control with two separate engines, one for lift and one for thrust. Plus, it has a bag skirt, which is used for large hovercrafts. Fun. That was so much fun. All three of them were amazing. Now, Claire, all that is left to do is what? To make one. Yeah, easy as. Piece of cake, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to be great. We can do this. Not sure about the piece of cake part, but if we are going to make a hovercraft, which is our final challenge, then we need to know about forces, which is exactly what Claire's talking about over in the think tank. <laughs> Thanks, Iris. Final challenge time, and guess what? We've made a hovercraft! How what do you cool. think, wow. Izzy, Fred? Awesome. It looks awesome. pretty yeah. epic, but we need to try it out. Of course we do. You guys ready? We're going to turn it on. Okay. It's going to get noisy. Hovercraft, here we go! Epic. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to ask you right here, right now. I think I know what it's going to be, oh, yeah. but this challenge was to make a hovercraft pass or fail. What's it going to be? Pass. Yeah! 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 Well, to celebrate, Claire, should we try dropping on this yeah, thing as well? No, no, you guys stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's move forward okay. a bit so we can have good weight distribution. Here we go. Okay, before we turn this on, oh, oh here we go. Well, I was just going to thank everyone for watching because oh. let's just have some fun with Thanks this. Thanks for coming, everyone. Epic <laughs> challenge, guys. We'll see you next time on Brain Buzz. Turn it on. Let's go. Woo!